Hey everyone, welcome to Napax. I am Soro and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix lag in Filmora. So let's begin the tutorial. Go to the file menu and select the preference option. This will bring up the preference window that contains general, folders, editing, save and performance tabs. You can change the language or choose how frequently Filmora is going to check for updates from the general tab. The folder tab lets you set destination folders for temporary and recorded files, recorded audio, uploaded files and effect packs. In case you want to change a default destination folder, simply click on the browse icon next to any of the options available in the folder tab and select where Filmora is going to keep your files. I would like to save my files to desktop, so navigate to desktop and hit enter. The editing tab lets you set default duration of photos, transitions, effect and freeze frames. For instance, if you set the default photo duration to 5 seconds, the duration of each photo you add to the timeline is going to be limited to that amount of time. You can set the default duration of transitions, freeze frames and effects in the same way. The photo placement offers the fit, crop to fit and pan and zoom options. Selecting the fit option will enable the software to fit a still image you add to the timeline within the screen. As a result, black bars may appear around the photo if it's in the portrait format. But this only happens so that Filmora can fit the whole image into the frame. The crop to fit option will help you avoid creating the black bars around a photo, but it will also crop out parts of the photo you place on the timeline. However, this feature is going to fit the image to the project's aspect ratio. The pan and zoom option creates the panning effect and it also fits the photo to match the aspect ratio you specified for the entire project. You can adjust the project backup options from the save tab. That lets you choose how frequently Filmora is going to backup your projects or where the backup files are going to be saved. The Save tab allows you to change project's default location. Enabling the autosave option won't take too much of the storage space on your hard drive. And it can save you hours of work if anything goes wrong during the editing process. Processing large video files can cause the footage playback to lag. If your videos are not playing smoothly, you can enable hardware acceleration for playback, video rendering and video decoding options from the performance tab. Click on the background render checkbox to ensure that all files you add to the timeline are rendered. By doing so, you will ensure their smooth playback and reduce the lagging. Creating proxies is yet another way of keeping the lag to the minimum while working with high resolution files. Filmora lets you create proxies automatically when media files are larger than the resolution you specified as a threshold. A proxy file is of lower quality than the original clip, but using proxies won't affect the quality of the video you export from Filmora. So you must create a proxy if you have a lag on Filmora while playback. Once you have adjusted the settings in the preference window, you should click on the OK button to confirm the changes. The preview quality and display settings icon that looks like a computer monitor is located directly below the preview window. After you click on the icon, you should expand the playback quality sub-menu and choose if you want to preview a video clip in full quality or reduce its playback quality to half or 1 by 16th of the original quality. Now let's move towards Windows settings. I'm using Windows 11, so it might look different, but the process and options are same on both platforms. So let's make some changes. First of all, click on Start button and open settings. On Windows 10, you have to select the system option manually, but Windows 11 already opens up this system tab. Now click on display. Scroll a bit and you will see the graphics option. Click on it. Here, default settings for graphics can be changed to provide more power to the software. If Filmora is already added to the list, you can change default settings from there. 
Under Add an App option, choose Desktop App and click on Browse. Now go to the installed directory. Now select the Filmora application and click on Add. Now click on Option and select High Performance. Finally click on Save. After all this, give your device a simple restart. But be sure to disable unnecessary apps at startup. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. If you like this tutorial, then subscribe to my channel for more useful videos like this. And this much for today my friends, see you in the next video.